There are a lot of people out there who get really excited when Star Citizen's future mech armor or Titan suits are mentioned, like in the latest Squadron 42 report. But, and I know that this is not really a popular opinion, I am not, well, not really. A little bit. And I do in fact have some reservation, especially when it comes to balancing, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you why. Hi, I'm Eorad, and so today we are going to talk about a topic that has never been discussed before in 2000 videos and after 5 years. And so for the first time on this channel, we are going to talk about Titan suits. So what are Titan suits in Star Citizen, or more precisely, what could they be? Well, there's been a few concept images featuring those already, and I believe that they were mentioned a few times by Cloudy Beer Games staff during various talk shows on Star Citizen Live over the past couple of years. And it seems that Titan Soons will have some kind of armor exoskeleton that a character will be able to equip in order to give them some strength that would normally be unobtainable. Think of the ability to carry large containers without a tractor beam or maybe a size 1 ship weapon that would then be used in a combat situation. Anyone equipped with a titan suit would therefore benefit from abilities deemed impossible until then and that combined with the mech warrior or starcraft vibes and you can imagine that titan suits do indeed trigger people's excitement. I do personally find these concept images very cool as well, and yeah, I have to admit that. However, as often, when the next cool thing becomes available, I am afraid that Titan suits might cannibalize some pre-existing gameplay, like what we've seen with ships taking a more important place over previous ones, and newer guns as well being more used than older ones, like the FS9 for example. Here, in our case, what I would like Cloudy Peregrims to avoid is to make out of Titan suits the meta when it comes to FPS combat. Otherwise, no one will ever fight as regular on foot units anymore. And for that, I believe that certain measures could be applied to prevent these Titan suits from being a must have in a ground combat while still keeping them as a force to be reckoned with as they should be. However, I think that they should also have restrictions. One of the first restrictions I could think of for Titan suits are their class. I think that they should be treated as ground vehicle and thus spawn via an Aesop terminal, meaning that, for example, jumping inside one will require a certain process and will not be an instant gratification. In addition, because of their size, it would also be impossible to operate them indoors unless it's, for example, a hangar or a location large enough to operate a ground vehicle. Also, these suits won't rely on human power to operate, they will need an energy source, so that will also have to be implemented as well in order to prevent an individual from camping outside of an airlock indefinitely. Next, we have to talk about their vulnerability. Obviously, Titan suits can't be invincible, and just wouldn't be fair. Should they be superior to on-foot soldiers? Yes, that's their point, but they should also have their own vulnerabilities. Since they are machines, I would imagine that they could be affected by electrical pulses from the Atgav or the Uberes, of certainly more than ballistic shots from an FS9, for example. I think that it will also be a nice uh, rock, scissor, paper type of mechanism here. Of course, explosives like grenades or missiles would also be effective against a Titan suit. Titan suits could therefore encourage players to opt for different loadouts that would be effective at countering them, but that would in return not so be effective against regular fault soldiers. Think of, for example, how a demolition class trooper in Battlefront is good against an ATST, but will struggle against a stormtrooper. That would be the same principle. And so these are my thoughts here on Titan suits. Don't get me wrong, I would love to see them in the game as well, but I also believe that the developers at Cloudy Beer Games need to carefully consider all the possible balancing options to avoid making them overpowerful, especially in the battlefield. Titan suits have the potential to help diversify roles in ground combat, but also completely break it if not done properly, and that is why I would advise waiting and seeing how Clannipier Games plans to introduce them in the game before being too hyped about those. 
But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you waiting for Titan suits? What are your thoughts about the potential of uh, in the introduction of mechs in the Persistent Universe? And what other solution can you think of to balance those Titan suits on the battlefield? I'm very curious to find out what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's the end of this video. If you think that I deserve it, don't forget to please give us a like and also subscribe to the channel for more awesome Star Citizen content. I've been Irad. Shout out to Wolf by Pug, Dr. Forbin, Deplorable Infidel, and Zero Crusher. I will see you guys later.